Hi, I'm Ivan Meisner, founder of BNI, the world's leading referral organization. And today, I want to talk about selecting your business networks. How do you figure out what groups to go out and join? Business owners are always looking for new ways to expand their client base and grow their business. Many, as they work to bring their business to the next level, want to join networking organizations. Now, networking organizations can be a great way to meet new people, expand your pool of referral partners, and hone your key skills like public speaking and uh, delivering your presentation. The key to being a part of these organizations, however, is really working the networks that you are a part of. Remember, it's not called net sit or net eat, it's called network. So you really wanna join and then participate in the groups that you decide to join. Now, when looking for organizations to join, remember that it can be beneficial to join organizations from three or more of the categories of networking that I'm gonna talk about. And that often surprises people, surprises people to hear the founder of BNI say, you should go join another kind of organization as well. And the reason for that is that we have found over time that people that are out there connecting with people regularly are the ones that are building a powerful personal network. Now, don't put all your eggs in one basket as one type of group. Uh, because one type of group, group won't meet all your networking needs. I'm going to talk about five key types of networking organizations for you. The first type of network that I want to talk about is a casual contact network. A casual contact network allows many people from overlapping professions to get together on a regular basis, usually in a mixer environment. These are groups like the Chamber of Commerce. I love chambers. They're fantastic organizations. And I recommend that my members of BNI, I recommend that you participate in your local Chamber of Commerce. The second is a strong contact network. This is a, an organization where you usually allow only one person per profession. They get together very regularly, usually weekly, and their primary purpose is to pass referrals. These are groups like BNI, the organization that I founded. Third are community service clubs. I love community service clubs. These are groups like Rotary, Lions, Kiwanis. They give you an opportunity to rub elbows with other very successful people in the community. Uh, I was a member of a local service club for uh, 16 years. I really, really recommend them. Fourth are professional associations. These are trade organizations of one kind or another. And I do recommend that you participate in those because they give you an opportunity to find people that may have specialties that you don't have and you can actually network and collaborate with them to do a better job for your clients. The last kind of network that I want to talk about, the first four were all face-to-face -face networks. I want to talk briefly about online networking because I'm a believer in online networking or social networking, Facebook, Twitter, certainly LinkedIn. This is a great opportunity for you to connect with people online. To me, it's not a matter of either or, either face-to-face -face or online, it's both and. And I believe you should participate in two or three different kinds of groups very actively. I recommend you actually join several of these kinds of groups. Don't be in three professional associations or two strong contact groups. Be in one of each of those. Online networking, it's okay to participate in a couple, but you wanna be more active in one uh, in particular. Always give your best effort to be active in the groups that you participate in. Uh, the groups that you select will directly affect your referral marketing success. Now to pick the groups that are right for you, First, take some time and think about what types of organizations you truly want or need to join. Your participation in the group is what will make you successful. Not how many groups you join, but how well you participate. So be sure to join the ones that you have time for and that you want to take part in. Next, be sure to visit groups and get recommendations from the current members. Just as you want testimonials for your business, you want current members to give you testimonials for those organizations. You want to find out about the organization from the existing members. Finally, visit the group one or more times before you decide to join. Many groups have nuances that you may not pick up on at your first meeting, so give yourself plenty of time to see the whole group. And you definitely want to participate in one that's got some structure and accountability because you don't want to go join a coffee clutch. You want to be in a group that is actually doing business. 
there's no quick fix and growing your business will take effort above all else dedicate the time to your networking strategy that it deserves and meet other qualified professionals regularly to develop your referral based business how many networking organizations are you part of have you found a combination of groups that give you the most bang for your buck i'd love to hear your thoughts on networking organizations so please your leave your comments here in the forum below this is dr ivan meisner with IvanMeisner.com and the founder of BNI. Thanks for watching.